Hello everyone, it's me, Lucy. Today I bring you another super funny crossover story. If you like it, please like and subscribe to my channel, before starting the story, let me briefly narrate. During the Tang Dynasty, in the 10th year of Xinguan, at Jinyang County, Changle Square, someone's hand was placed on the door. Then appeared a very hot girl. It's late at night, young master, no need to hurry, come in, the maid will prepare tea and make the bed for you, a young man listened with a dark expression on his face. The girl then led the young man into the room. Later, the girl lay on the bed, sweating all over. Young master, the maid feels very hot, can you check my body for me? Upon hearing this, the young man approached with a dark and emotionless face. He then slowly touched the girl's neck, making her moan in pleasure saying, Please be merciful, young master. Then, the young man immediately tightened his grip on the girl. She suddenly opened her eyes wide, revealing a circle of green energy in her pupils. At this angle, one could see the young man using his martial arts to suppress the girl, causing her demonic aura to continuously emanate from her body. On the young man's hand firmly clamped a sparkling talisman, his eyes shining brightly, the monster better show yourself quickly, starting the story, my name is Shen Chang Qing, a good young man, growing up under the red flag and educated in the materialistic scientific theory since childhood, once crossing over to this cannibalistic feudal society, Tang Dynasty, Chen Guan Tenth Year. Not only not transmigrating into a prince, crown prince, or wealthy man, also without any system support, pity me, struggling to live hand to mouth, working hard, saving money to rent a shabby tent to live in, yet still unable to escape the fate of being trapped, Chang Qing entered the house, ripping the paper in his hand in anger, damn. The unscrupulous intermediaries in the Tang dynasty are so rampant. How could this scholar be so cheap, this tattered house had become the starting point for my legendary conquest of Tang dynasty. Chang Qing walked up to the door covered with talismans, taking deep breaths, forget it, the money's all spent, what more can I do? A gust of wind blew, causing the talisman leaf to fall from the door frame. This dirty and tiny place had no cleaning service, only random things stuck everywhere. Inside the courtyard, there was a rusty iron sword pierced into a yin yang array, and looking up at the ceiling, spider webs were spun around the talisman leaves. Chang Qing approached the rusty sword, silently thinking to himself, Reality has proven that even though I come from the modern civilized society of the 21st century, facing 800 bandits in ancient times is probably not enough to stay calm. With that in mind, Chang Qing took out a cigarette, lit it up, and took a long drag. Exhaling the smoke, his eyes looked blankly to the side. The smoke from Chang Qing's cigarette billowed, and accidentally, the dead old tree next to him sprouted new shoots after inhaling the smoke. As Chang Qing observed the surroundings of the house, he noticed a flickering light, hey, what's that? Why are there broken pieces of iron scattered around like that? Curiously, he stepped closer to pick up the sword to examine it, but as soon as he touched it, the handle broke. He stared at the broken sword in shock and exclaimed, it's broken. I still wanted to use it to cut grass and plow the land. Suddenly, a voice from the room made Chang Qing turn his head in surprise. Young master, help me. The master of the house is here, the voice said. Chang Qing quickly dropped the cigarette in his hand, muttering, what's going on? Didn't the real estate agent say this house has been empty for a long time? Why is there someone here? The angry youth cursed under his breath and walked straight towards the room, shouting, who's in there? As he approached, he accidentally stepped on a magic formation, leaving his footprints and causing a beam of light to shine. Chang Qing opened the door, furious, and shouted, this place is mine now, get out. In front of him were a giant pair of jade rabbits and a voluptuous girl, who called out to him as, young master. Chang Qing's eyes sparkled, his face flushing red as he muttered under his breath. Mom, I know love now. When the little sister rushed over, the young man quickly dodged to the side, causing the little sister to fall flat on her face to the ground. However, 
Chang Ching still didn't help the little sister up, but turned his face to the side, saying, Miss, please don't think you can touch anything on me. The little sister boldly grabbed Chang Ching's belt, saying, I told you, why don't you Tang Dynasty women study well, the working class should rely on hard work to make a living. The little sister leaned close to Chang Ching's back, saying softly, Young master, I always rely on my two melons to make a living, as she finished speaking, Chang Ching began to feel the pressure of the two melons on his waist. Unable to bear the pressure of the two silicon bags, he panicked and shouted, Oh, you perverted woman! Without hesitation, Chang Ching immediately backed away, hugging himself, staring at the bunny's pair, his mouth shouting, You! You! You're a lady, stop talking nonsense, I suspect she wants to do something to me, but I have no evidence. So Chang Ching turned to the side, then the whole body of the other little sister suddenly emitted streams of eerie aura. But Chang Ching still didn't know and boldly said, Girl, it's late, if you don't have anything to do, go home quickly, in the future don't casually enter such dilapidated houses, no one will save you if you get trapped. Then he stepped back and took the talisman off the painting. Moreover, they say this place is likely haunted, isn't the young lady afraid? He kept talking without noticing that the demoness had emitted a sinister aura behind him. So, young master is afraid of ghosts and demons? Ha ha, I am the child of fortune, chosen by the heavens, possess a chaotic Taoist body, and spirits and demons dare not approach. Suddenly, the painting showed signs of movement. With angry eyes and sweating, the demoness has completely transformed into a demonic figure, with sharp claws pointing straight at Chang Qing but he remained calm and said, you cannot understand these things, in fact, I am just threatening you, all these monsters and demons are just superstitions of the ancients, looking from the outside, Chang Qing's house was filled with sinister aura, the demonic and eerie essence of the demoness. At some place, a man appeared meditating, then a high official stood in front of the man and said, Taoist, do not worry, I am the city god of Jingyang County, with the authority of a military judge, I will help you eliminate the demons. The nine demon ancestors are about to unite, their power is unpredictable, so I can only seal them first, causing inconvenience to you, Lord. After finishing speaking, the man stared at the aura in his palm and shouted loudly, Not good, my sealing spell has been broken. Turning back to Chang Qing, facing the attack of the demoness, nearing death, he still paid no attention and focused on the golden coin under the table. Chang Qing saw his eyes turning into sparkling diamonds. And the demoness behind seemed to be getting closer to him, almost catching the prey. Suddenly, Chang Qing lifted the table, causing the demoness to accidentally hit her face on it. But Chang Qing paid no attention to anything around, he picked up the coin and put it in his pocket, money falling from the sky is truly lucky, I can have two more meat buns for breakfast tomorrow. Dot. Suddenly, the gold coins inside the bag emitted a bright light, Chang Qing saw it, his mouth agape in astonishment he exclaimed loudly, Heaven, have I encountered a demon? Where is my money? Still shocked, in an instant, the coins in the bag flew out and opened up a system space. Chang Qing, upon seeing this, was extremely happy and thought to himself, so the system, the divine weapon must be for those who cross over, has finally appeared, so, Chang Qing took out a rose branch from somewhere and put it in his mouth, showing a handsome face, let me see what function your divine system has, he said. The system panel immediately appeared in his hand, current existence time is 71 hours. 59 minutes, 59 seconds. Please recharge energy in time. Rewards for the first recharge range from 6 hours to 1,500 hours, with rewards ranging from 6 gold coins to 648 gold coins. If no money is recharged to maintain life, the system will kill the host. After reading this, Chang Qing was furious, smashing the system, what kind of stupid system is this, how can I play with it? The demoness spoke up, it's not too early now, let me take care of you, rest. No sooner had the words left his mouth than the demoness received a lightning-fast punch straight to the face. Though the blow was quite painful, the thick-skinned demoness put on a seductive, teasing expression, 
letting out a drawn-out A-O. Looking down, Chang Ching saw that the demoness was tightly gripping his arm, he turned to see the girl with a flushed face, trembling all over, clinging to him. Huh, why are you still here? he asked, bewildered. Right after that, the demoness collapsed against Chang Ching, resting her head on his body with a dreamy look in her eyes. She whispered, why is it that whenever I touch someone, my body, Chang Ching, now blushing furiously, stammered, uh, sister, let's forget about today. We can meet another time. Just then, as they were struggling, a young Taoist and an official burst through the door, shouting, demon, seeing them, Chang Ching widened his eyes in shock, mouth agape, frozen in place. In contrast, the demoness continued to enjoy the close contact with the young man, moaning incessantly. The Taoist and the official stood there, eyes wide and mouths agape, stunned for a full six seconds. After the moment of shock passed, they pointed forward together, exclaiming, Is this the super strong demon you were talking about? What is the name of that mortal, Judge Lord, do not be deceived by appearances, this is a trick to drain the vitality of that person, ignore him. After hearing this, Chang Qing's face was sweating profusely, she acted on her own, having nothing to do with me. Why does this scene seem familiar? Chang Qing immediately imagined the image of the Taoist and judge as villains, the demoness as prey, and he as the unjust one. Thinking this, he stood up suddenly, pushing the demoness to the ground. Why scold her after leaving? Chang Qing then thought, encounter dishonesty, stay calm for a moment. I thought she was a lost young lady or a lost girl from someone's family, not an immortal running away. Wanting to steal my money, her words were strong, but her heart was crying. I don't even have money to deceive anymore, everything was swallowed by the system, seeing Chang Qing's actions, the Taoist and judge frowned, silently thinking, three young lords still has no way to deal with the old demon, yet he gently pushed her, and the demon energy dissipated halfway. Just a mortal, not even bowing to me as the city god, very disrespectful, dot. Judge angrily marched forward and shouted at Chang Qing. Chang Qing immediately kicked the two madmen out of the door. I must know which deity you are, dressed in luxurious and extravagant clothes, in such strange attire. Just looking at it, it's clear that it's not something good. Did you even look at my house to see if there's any money to cheat us, what city god, I am the Jade Emperor. Nowadays, the deceivers are not even professional, huh? Chang Qing then threw the demoness out and told the madman to leave, saying, Get out, I am still bothered here. After the altercation, the doors were closed firmly, and the two men and one woman who witnessed the scene had their eyes darkened. They whispered, Taoist, I can no longer use my divine power. Me too, it seems that as soon as we entered this courtyard, we couldn't harness our magic anymore. Is that person a deity? When Judge looked down at the demoness, he saw her body emitting a strong demonic aura. The Taoist handled this demon old man how? The Taoist heard it, raised his leg up to his neck and ran like a rocket. The demon old man is fierce, little Taoist go ahead to find a master for help, hey, don't leave me here alone, Judge looked down, his face sweating profusely, let's negotiate a bit, below, the demoness turned into an ugly old woman to the point where even the race had to be criticized, and then judge's hoarse scream echoed throughout the area. At night outside Chang Qing's room, a group of evil spirits lurked and sniffed, it smells so good, want to eat, just smelling this scent is enough to make the whole body boil with power, he belongs to me. Below the small courtyard, a pair of white silky feet appeared from the smoke, followed by a tail with smooth fur, in front of which appeared a very beautiful girl, with a full water and electricity body, interesting, the whole body of this little mortal emits an enchanting aura, no wonder it can make demons within a hundred miles boil. The flirtatious girl licked her lips, looked forward with a soul-piercing gaze, the ordinary demon can eat him, but he might be able to ascend. If we can absorb his vitality, the fairy would immediately take action, not to mention any more. After speaking, the younger sister stepped forward, using her hand to push open the door, the sound of the door creaking made Chang Qing unable to bear it and had to cover his head in pain, the sound kept echoing in his ears, making him angry, 
clenching his teeth and frowning, Chang Qing walked out of the door, yelling loudly, What kind of noisy person are you? Do you have any ethics out there? I am annoyed and upset, don't you let people rest at night? A stream of bright energy burst from his body, dispersing the fox spirit and the group of dark evil spirits, after that dazzling light. A figure appeared, it turned out that the fox spirit had returned to her original form, looking confused as to why, at Ziku House, Jingyang County, below is the fox spirit lying unconscious in front of the small courtyard. After a while, she woke up and opened her eyes, quickly getting up and looking around, realizing that it was almost dawn, she couldn't believe she had been unconscious for so long. As she was still dazed, the spirits of resentment and demons appeared behind her, staring intently at the little fox. Feeling something, little fox immediately turned his head to look, the resentful spirits gathered into a female demon, her eyes shedding tears, hidden weapons densely packed around her, a ball of demon energy forming in her hand, she stared ahead into the void, little fox was scared, her fur bristling, eyes wide open, shouting loudly, demon ah, spare me, little fox was so scared she fell to the ground, I have no more power left, she sighed, damn, those dark Taoists from last night. They are really infuriating. Looking up, she saw the demon approaching with eerie faces formed by hidden weapons, is my life really over? Just as she felt despair, Chang Qin unexpectedly opened the door and stepped out, saying, a beautiful day is beginning. As he looked up at the still dark sky, he yawned, oh my, did I wake up too early? The sky is not even bright yet. Seeing this, Little Fox ran to seek help, but Chang Qing had unknowingly closed the door. The accidental scene turned Little Fox's whole body into stone. The evil energy flow of that demon lover appeared right behind Little Fox. The demon lover leaned into Little Fox's ear and smirked, Little creature, are you lost? Little Fox, sweating profusely, was too scared to say anything. The demon lover then loudly exclaimed, Your flesh looks delicious. Little Fox, trembling in fear, screamed, I'm going to die, ten times in a row. Just as Little Fox was about to meet the ancestors, Chang Qing opened the door and stepped out. The radiant light from his body dissolved the dense hidden weapon in front of him. Carrying a basket on his shoulder, Chang Qing glanced in a direction and said, I have to leave early today, this system is terrifying, demanding both money and life, truly unlucky. While walking, Chang Qing inadvertently stepped on Little Fox's tail, saying, Hey, where did this demon dog come from? Little Fox, in pain, retorted, Ouch, 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 you're the dog, your whole family is the dog, release my master quickly. Chang Qing sat down scratching his head and looked intently at the fox holding its swollen red tail, saying, Haha, sorry, whose demon dog are you? Why did you run to my doorstep? Then he made a weird face and reached his mischievous hand forward, saying, Come here, let me touch you. The little fox saw this and said, Scram, foolish human, don't touch me, but being in fox form, it couldn't stop Chang Qing from touching its head, as Chang Qing touched the fox's head, a surge of spiritual weapon continuously absorbed into the little fox's body. Feeling the power within, the fox opened its eyes wide and wondered, what's happening? How can this guy hide such a powerful spiritual weapon in his hand? At that moment, the little fox willingly allowed Chang Qing to stroke its soft fur, while he complimented, oh, so comfortable. After a while, he looked at his hand in surprise, a wild dog. Looking down, he realized he was no longer touching the fox, but it was still wagging its tail autonomously. Ha <laughs> ha, my right hand is truly inherited gold, he exclaimed. He finished speaking and turned towards the well, waving to little fox, dog, now I am poor and have no money to feed you. There is a system urging me to deposit money, so I can't take care of you. You should find a wealthy owner, after hearing this, the fox fainted, then suddenly ran towards Chang Qing, what is happening to this person? Last night a furious roar killed a hundred demons immediately, even turning me, a Qing Chiu fox fairy, back to my original form and losing all my powers. Just now, 
nine tier demons merged and didn't even dare show their faces. Moreover, just now he touched my head a little and I felt my cultivation breakthrough after a hundred years, while Chang Qing was polishing his teeth. Accidentally spitting water onto the fox, awakening it from its dream. But moments later, something made little fox feel like he had entered a fairy world, this water is spiritual water, thank you for this gift of nature. Chang Qing glanced over as he polished his teeth, seeing the fox demon wagging its tail and smiling at him, do you like me like this? Just as he finished speaking, a demon appeared next to Chang Qing, opening its mouth wide, ready to bite him. Fox demon saw then he was scared the color flew. At that moment, the display screen showed, time left to live is 62 hours 36 minutes 44 seconds, and the countdown of remaining time kept decreasing. After spinning the numbers, the remaining time to live was 48 hours 36 minutes 44 seconds, at that moment, gold coins shot out from the system, instantly hitting the demon. The gold coins continued to glide past the demon, causing it to completely fade in a cloud of smoke. Before the lightning-fast strike of the gold coins, the fox demon was shocked with bulging eyes. Chang Qing felt some force pushing him to kneel to the ground. Then, he looked up at the sky with a terrible expression. Secretly thinking, what is happening? I feel like my body is being hollowed out. Remaining lifetime is 48 hours 0 minutes, now his body had no more vitality, so the remaining time to live continued to decrease, with only 14 hours 36 minutes 44 seconds left. Seeing the situation was not good, the little fox immediately bit Chang Qing's clothing and pulled him out of the well. The nine tier demons merge into one, at the time of the alternation between yin and yang is when its energy is strongest, unexpectedly attacking the immortal, it must quickly leave. Chang Qing was pulled for a moment, his divine soul was restless, even growing a horn on his head, he panicked and shouted, little dog, don't misunderstand, hearing that, the fox immediately released Chang Qing, and he quickly got up to explain, just now I hadn't eaten breakfast so my blood sugar dropped, causing dizziness, it's not a strange reaction of the body, the little fox, after hearing this, murmured to itself, he is truly an expert in hiding, being attacked by the merged tear. Demons without any injury. Just now he pretended to be unconscious to check if he can escape alone, clever, luckily I am smart, the system panel appeared in front of Chang Qing, time left to live 14 hours 30 minutes 11 seconds, he grabbed the system panel, widened his eyes in shock and shouted loudly, I only sleep for a maximum of 8 hours, after 72 hours there are only 14 hours left. What kind of system is this, leaving people with little time to live? The fox, seeing Chang Qing struggling with the system panel, smiled and silently thought. Just return the result, no explanation needed, nothing else. No useless quotation marks or punctuation unless necessary. Although I don't know what the immortal said, it definitely contains some great Tao, my cultivation is shallow and can't comprehend it, I must definitely cling to the immortal, aha. At this point, the cultivator has explained the situation clearly to the master. Please master, how should we deal with this matter, an old man flew sword forward, muttering to himself. That expert weakened the power of the nine tier demons in Ziku house last night, better to defeat them immediately while they are still weak. He is Yuan Tian Gang, the supervisor of Qin Tian in the Tang dynasty, a wise cultivator. I will obey, disciple will invite judge, city god, to pursue demons and restore peace to Jing Yang County. Old Tian Gang looked at the divination bowl in his hand, surrounded by a stream of energy, he silently contemplated and sighed. Expert broke the three Yang formation, I wonder if he is still in Jing Yang County. If lucky enough to meet him, must discuss the Tao with him. Curious about Chang Qing's identity, he raised his hand to draw lots, after a while of drawing lots, he was extremely surprised to find that he couldn't divine Chang Qing's background. Could it be that his cultivation has surpassed mine? Later, old Tian Gang, while creating hand seals, rushed into the market and accidentally bumped into Chang Qing, who was reading a fortune for a young man. Brother, your glabella has turned black, a great misfortune is approaching, Chang Qing said. 
The young man broke into a sweat upon hearing this. Aren't you supposed to read palms? Why are you saying my glabella has turned black? he asked. There are thousands of methods to tell fortunes, they all originate from the same source. Don't get hung up on the form, Chang Qing explained, old Tian Gang overheard this and frowned in displeasure. How dare you deceive people in broad daylight in front of me, he thought. Suddenly, Chang Qing stood up, took a step forward, emitting a radiant glow, and then rolled up a scroll, handing it to the young man. What should I do then? the young man asked, still anxious. Brother, don't worry. Just hang this immortal wood treasure painting in your home. It will ensure you are immune to all poisons. No need for 999 tails, no need for 888 tails, just 10 tails of silver, and you can take it home, Chang Qing declared, the young man's eyes bulged in shock, sweat pouring down like rain. He hesitated, unsure of what to do, when suddenly an old woman appeared behind him. Oh my, it's Shen Taoist. The lady I work for was possessed, and it was this Taoist who saved her, the old woman said, causing Chang Qing to feel elated, almost drooling at the thought of becoming an unparalleled expert in one step. To everyone's surprise, the old woman was the one he had hired to act. Your acting was very good, I'll give you extra money, he whispered to her. The old woman then loudly called out to the people around, Could I deceive everyone on the street like this? That evil presence was ultimately. Thank goodness for Shintaoist, otherwise, the lady might have died. Hearing this, the crowd opened their eyes wide in amazement and believed her wholeheartedly. The young man who was having his fortune read earlier quickly handed a fistful of money to Chang Qing. All right, all right, Shintaoist, I want that scroll he stammered, Chang Qin took the money, flashing a confident smile. Old Tian Gang, seeing this, immediately spoke up. Wait a moment. Which sect does this little immortal belong to? Do you have proof of identity issued by the government? Which Taoist temple do you practice at? Chang Qin frowned and squinted at Tian Gang, thinking, is he scrutinizing me, before he could respond, Tian Gang pointed a finger at Chang Qing and shouted. The little guy is rotten, still young but refuses to study well, even learning from others to deceive, today this old man will not let you take advantage easily. Chang Qing also did not fit in stepping strongly on the table in response, who are you? So a young man, an old man who doesn't give in to each other, rushes into a crazy quarrel, old man, I advise you to think carefully before speaking, you are clearly a normal person, even though you can't understand even palmistry you dare to say that your words can expel evil. The quarrel becomes more intense, the two faces are closer to each other, whose policy is the one providing evidence, you say my words can't expel evil, show evidence. Talking nonsense can't be said, be careful I'll sue you for defamation, you rotten little guy, really sharp-tongued, daring to demand evidence. Chang Qing looked at the angry face of senior Tian Gang and smirked, hanging a sign to drive away evil spirits is originally intended to comfort the mind, see what you can do, the old man raised his hand to the face of the old lady behind him, frowned, and shouted loudly, the words of Yuan Tian Gang are evidence. Furthermore, I dare say she is your accomplice, Chang Qing heard and raised her middle finger, responding, oh really? Who is Yuan Tian Gang? I am Li Shermin. If you are really Yuan Tian Gang, go back to the palace and have fun, don't come here to argue with me, the old man, angry, clasped his hands together to form a seal, immediately releasing a bright golden force. Little guy from your unscrupulous family, daring to call the name of a saint directly, don't be so arrogant, he burst out. Chang Qing, seeing this, turned pale and said, what do you want, Old Tian Gang charged towards Chang Qing with a forceful blow and shouted, Who is the evil sect, try me and see, behold the righteousness of Xian sect here. Seeing the old man standing right in front of him, Chang Qing teased, drawing on the palm of old Tian Gang. And as the old man realized his power had disappeared, Chang Qing took the opportunity to point at the old man's face and shouted, Okay, it turns out you are the one trying to deceive people. Perhaps afraid of someone stealing his meal, he deliberately peeked around. 
That's right, Shen Taoist quickly deal with this troublemaker for the people, the old man couldn't believe what he was seeing, so he focused on his palm and whispered, impossible, I've been practicing for decades and never encountered such a situation. Chang Qing rose as the water flooded in, sternly warning everyone, stay alert and don't fall into the trap of this scammer. Shen Taoist's talisman can bring peace to your home. Enraged, the old man overturned Chang Qing's work desk, saying, even if I can't use my power, I won't let you deceive people here, before he could finish his sentence, a spiritual weapon shone brightly in his face, and another one emerged from the painting on the table, surprising him. Old Tian Gang stared at the gleaming light, silently contemplating. This character, this character, why does it have such a powerful and mysterious aura that makes me terrified beyond imagination? Chang Qin looked at the old man's face, his expression darkening with anger. If my family can't make money, we will die anyway. Before I die, I will definitely use you as a stepping stone, he said fiercely. Suddenly, old Tian Gang knelt down and bowed his head before Chang Qing, startling him. I never expected that this character hides the great Tao. I was blind to Mount Tai, disrespecting the expert senior. Please forgive me, he pleaded. Is he mentally ill? Who was emitting such weird energy just now? The old actress pointed out the strange scene. At first, this old Taoist didn't believe it, but Shen Taoist's magical talent has convinced him, someone said. Making money is crucial, this is a good opportunity for publicity, another added. Chang Qing used his fan to wake up his divine soul. Yes, making money is still more important, he said, trying to sound kind. Don't worry, I, uh, this fairy will not hold it against you. Good or bad, you are still a cultivator. Do you not understand the principles of cause and effect? Chang Qing chided, making old Tian Gang bow his head, sweat pouring down his face as he mumbled to himself, no wonder I regarded him as a mortal. This is a manifestation of returning to one's original state after becoming an immortal, the fate of individuals is determined by the heavens. If I were to help them arbitrarily, it would be against the will of the heavens. But taking a few tales of silver symbolizes cause, and helping them overcome calamities results in a good effect, Chang Qing explained. The crowd below, dazzled by the golden light, stood with eyes wide open and mouths agape. Exclaiming, so this is what they mean by the laws of the heavens being clear and the cycle of cause and effect. How could I not know this principle? All those years of cultivation were in vain, hearing this, Chang Qing frowned, his face contorted with annoyance, thinking, don't just boast, you have to pay up. Just as he finished this thought, old Tian Gang produced a shining black jelly and said, it would be an insult to you if a priceless treasure like this were put on the market. As a junior, I sincerely ask you to bestow upon me your calligraphic treasure. I promise to enshrine it in the main hall and reflect upon it daily. This is the only thing I carry with me, befitting your esteemed status. Chang Qing immediately snatched the black jelly bead from the hands of Mr. Tian Gang and looked closely at what this stone could do. This sky repairing stone was already the most precious thing on the junior's body. After looking at it, Chang Qing slammed his hand on the table, making Mr. Tian Gang jump in surprise and sweat. I don't need this bead, do you have something more practical? Hearing this, Mr. Tian Gang stared up at the sky, a certain idea popped into his mind, and a moment later, he held the shimmering Taoist scripture in his bare hands and shouted loudly. Thank you, senior for passing on the teachings, the junior will definitely understand the hidden principles in it every day. After Mr. Tian Gang left, the young man who was fortune-telling spoke up. Shen Taoist, he sold the scripture to him and what about me, don't worry, I had already calculated that he would appear, so I was prepared. After speaking, Chang Qing immediately unfolded another scroll of Taoist scripture, the golden light shining on the face of the man. This righteousness character can ward off evil and is more suitable for you. Okay, I'll buy it, I'll buy it. The man joyfully held the scroll of Taoist scripture in his hand, dancing happily as if going to a festival, and the basket containing Chang Qing's scrolls of paper now became something very valuable. 
The scene shifts to Ziku House, where Judge and the Daoist appear at Chang Qing's small courtyard. Judge, holding a broom tightly in his hands, speaks up, How can this creature stop demon energy so quickly, and even stronger than before? The young Daoist stares at the strange bowl in his hands, gritting his teeth, Judge, don't worry, our master has arrived in Jingyang County, I will send word for him to come. Suddenly, a strong gust of wind blows in, causing the young Daoist to widen his eyes in surprise. Before he can react, a stream of evil energy attacks him directly from outside the door, shattering the strange bowl in his hands into pieces, in a desperate moment. Someone punches the evil energy attacking the Daoist with all their strength, revealing it to be Judge. He exerts all his strength to grab hold of the dark energy, shouting loudly, Daoist friend, now, upon hearing this, the Daoist immediately raises two fingers in determination, generating golden lightning from his fingertips. Then, a sword flies out from the bowl behind him, heading straight towards the purple evil energy. The sword and the evil energy clash fiercely, resulting in a powerful explosion. From outside the door came a shrill scream, mung beans and lettuce, which God dares to destroy our house, judge and the Daoist heard and their eyes widened in horror, something suddenly causing that air flow to gradually disappear, sauntering inside, Chang Qing gritted his teeth, glaring and shouting loudly, what are you all doing? As soon as he saw him, his sword immediately pinned straight to the ground along with that air flow, Chang Qing looked around his house, tears welling in. His eyes, I just left for a while and this bunch has already destroyed our house, looking at the door, he was shocked to see, oh my god, the disciple I just hired, dot, Chang Qing infuriated pointed at Judge and the Daoist. Shouting loudly, you two are something else, couldn't cheat me last night so today you take the opportunity to cause trouble when I'm not home, right? Continuously cursing without noticing the evil energy stream behind him had escaped from the glittering sword. The two men saw and simultaneously held out their hands forward shouting, be careful, the evil energy behind his back was gradually forming into a horrifying monster, emitting a creepy demonic aura all over its body. The two young men looked, and were horrified, their eyes wide open and sweat pouring down their faces. There's a demon under your feet, stay awake, hearing this Chang Qing bowed his head and stared down at the ground with an indifferent face. What demon? he asked, looking down under his feet, the demon raised its head and seemed to want to swallow his calf whole, Chang Qing lifted his foot to see if there was really a demon as rumored, then he looked up at the sky with a fierce expression. Without realizing it, he gave the demon a kick and it exploded, smoke billowing up, flattening the demon. But he didn't actually know what he had done, so his mind was in a panic and sweat poured out like a stream. The evil energy of the demon angered by Chang Qing's actions made him run around in panic, shouting, Who's there? What was that noise earlier? The two young men witnessed the scene and shouted in amazement, Nine tier demons clinging to Jing Yang County for over ten years have been vanquished by his kick. Hey, hey, don't underestimate the expert. So the Taoist stepped forward to Chang Qing's place, looking at him with a gaze full of admiration, Little Taoist is Li Chun Fong. The successor of the arithmetic deity, Yuan Tian Gang, did not know the name of the expert. Li Chun Fong. Yuan Tian Gang, did Taoistly work for Qin Tian's supervisor. The cultivation of the little Daoist is not enough to enter Qin Tian's supervisor. After speaking, Chang Qin glanced at Judge, so, this lord with a beard looks familiar, must be Yin God, a certain city god, right? Previously when I went to the temple, the statue of the god looked like this, upon hearing this, the martial saint also stepped forward and clasped his hands in respect. I am indeed in god, city god Siwu judge, last time I committed a crime, this time I am grateful to the Daoist friend for not calculating the past and helping. Chang Qing heard this and took a puff of his cigarette to calm down. Chang Qing with the cigarette in his mouth, stared absent-mindedly in a certain direction. The Tang Dynasty people are indeed simple and rustic, so Chang Qing shed tears at this point, the smoke from the cigarette forming an artistic shape of letter O, encountering three swindlers in just one day, how could Shen Chang Qing be so unlucky? 
Heartbroken, Chang Qing spread his arms wide and pointed in all directions. I am a Marxist-Leninist scholar, I only believe in wealth through labor, not in supernatural power, so let's talk about reality a bit. Just return the result, no explanation needed, nothing else. No useless quotation marks or punctuation unless necessary. The two of you have turned my house into this state, tell me, is this official or personal business? Hearing this, the two were dumbfounded, with thousands of questions running through their minds, why, what do you mean by official or personal, can we speak in ancient language, Chang Qing stared ahead with a dazed expression and said, dear sirs, stop flirting with me, I'm a straight man through and through. With that, Chang Qing rushed forward, pointing at the two men and bluntly said, if it's personal, you'll have to compensate me a huge amount of money. Then he raised both hands to the sky, if it's official, I'll hand you over to the authorities, and you'll still have to pay a hefty sum. The two men were dumbfounded and mumbled, I am the Ean God City God, I only receive incense offerings, I don't have money. How can a high-level cultivation expert be lacking such worldly things? There must be some deeper meaning, after waiting and getting no response from the two, Chang Qing, furious, tossed aside his cigarette and snapped, what do you mean by saying nothing? If you don't speak, you're going to face the authorities. Hearing this, Chun Fong threw a bag of money to Chang Qing, but it felt strange. Judge, with empty sleeves, helplessly exclaimed, I can't see any demons, but there are definitely three poverty ghosts here. Chun Fong whispered back, Expert, should I stay here to help you fix the house or just take this little bit with me? Chang Qing reluctantly replied while looking at the gold coins and a few broken silver pieces in her hand, Well, that's fine. Chang Qing led the two to the front door of the house, you figure out how to fix the red bricks and mud yourselves, don't mess around there anymore, let's get to work. An hour later, the house had been completely repaired. Chang Qing stood in the house, placing his harvest on the table, the pawn shop owner wouldn't take this stone. So it can only be used as a paperweight. The old man gave me two tails for it, minus and share, today's total earnings are twenty tails, as he was counting the money, a beam of light suddenly shone on his face, and the system interface appeared, sucking up all the money he had earned. Hey, my money, leave me some. Chang Qing stared at the system interface, noticing that the time had changed from 9.56 to 35.56, then he realized. It seems like I met the conditions for the first top-up reward, I can claim two rewards now. The first top-up reward is currently being drawn, with thousands of items displayed on the system board. Wow, it's dazzling, did the system finally hack for me? SSR, SSR, give me SSR. After a loading screen, the system awarded Chang Qing with two scrolls of cheats. His eyes widened, his veins turned red, and his pupils shrank. He angrily threw the two scrolls on the table, shouting loudly, Oh my goodness, methods for making fertilizer, methods for distilling alcohol, is your system serious? I'm starving to death, how could you give me these damn things? Chang Qing's eyes turned dark as a bear. Trembling all over. Indeed, regular people like us can't afford to top up in the game. After a while, Chang Qing walked towards the door, placing his hand on Chun Feng's shoulder. Why are you still here? Don't tell me you're waiting to be fed at my house. He then gently chased him away. Li Chun Fong, it's not early anymore, help me cover that hole first today and then go home early. At this moment, Little Fox slipped in through the door with a bag in its mouth. Chun Fong, seeing this, widened his eyes in astonishment, Fox Fairy Lord, Chang Qing sat down and took the bag of food, you're here again. Bringing gifts to flatter me is useless. I can barely support myself, how can I feed you, Chun Fong whispered, that, expert, it's not a dog, it's a fox, Chang Qing, hearing the murmurs, turned to Chun Fong, are you talking to me, meanwhile, the little fox stood up, gnashing its teeth and threatening, dare to speak nonsense and you'll surely die, Chang Qing gently touched the little fox's hand, this little creature does indeed have spiritual nature. If you've tried so hard, I reluctantly let you stay. 
From now on, your name will be Xiao Bai, okay? The fox demon happily barked twice in approval, woof woof, at Siku house that night, a Shue Long appeared in the sky, twisting and turning among the clouds, chasing after a Bai Long, shouting loudly. Sister, wait for me, the condition of the empress is not good, we must find someone to treat her. While flying, Bai Long suddenly noticed a stream of golden light shining ahead, Xiao Qing, look, what is that? After speaking, the two dragons transformed into two chubby girls, looking fresh and no need for makeup. I feel the powerful force attracting people's souls in that dazzling golden light, it must be an immortal descending to the mortal world or a rare treasure appearing. Let's go and see, at that moment, Chang Qing sat in the room looking at the system board, with only 32 hours, 45 minutes, and 21 seconds left to live. He frowned, trembling all over, looking miserable. Not only was his remaining life short, but his stomach kept growling non-stop, Chang Qing helplessly banged his head on the bed thirty times, whispering, Oh, so hungry, all the money has been swallowed by the system, can't survive a day, to comfort himself, Chang Qing bit down hard on the pillow, his eyes teary. Oh system, if you keep doing this, before you can kill me, I'll die of starvation, outside Chang Qing's room, there was a rich stream of spiritual weapon light surrounding it. But above appeared the aura of eerie demons, little fox sensed it, glanced up and thought to himself, what sound is that? Why does this sound contain such mysterious Daoist energy? After thinking little fox jumped onto the roof. Little fox looked up at the moonlight, imagining an intimate scene with Chang Qing, the power in my body is boiling, there is an urge that cannot be suppressed, I really want to be with him, in front of the moonlight, Demon energy continuously absorbed into Little Fox's body, below the nine tier demon had merged and was lurking in front of Chang Qing's room. After absorbing the demon energy for a while, Little Fox returned to its original form. The younger sister standing on the roof looked down with a stern gaze, These demons have been defeated and merged by immortals, daring to appear and disturb the resting immortals, truly ignorant of life and death. Dot, the merged demons created an extremely terrifying ghost energy, with hungry eyes and mouth as if wanting to devour something, Chun Fong standing beside turned pale. On the roof, Little Fox unleashed its power, a menacing aura of a vicious fox appeared behind it. The evil demons below did not match up, but gathered together into a fierce monster rushing towards the little fox. Chun Fong stood behind, sweating profusely and trembling. Amidst the battle between the two forces of demon beasts, Fox Clan and the Nine Tier Demon, the young man inside the house remained calmly asleep, lost in beautiful dreams. Meanwhile, the siblings of the Long Clan watched from afar in astonishment. Sister, the demon energy is too strong, why are there so many powerful demons appearing in this small Jin Yang County at the same time? Bai Long looked down at the fierce battle below and commented, no wonder the spiritual weapons surrounding the people in the room cannot ignore these demons like the sun in the night. Back to the demon battle, the image of oppressive and powerful fighting power was actually two women clawing at each other like jealous thieves. At that moment, the twin dragons by Qin landed on the ground from the sky and shouted, which wicked demon, dare to cause chaos in the mortal world. The two women turned their heads in surprise, but did not let go of each other's hair. Bai Long with a serious face stepped forward and said, Evil is evil, no one can stay calm in front of me, Shue Long, yet you still stand here, seems like you have some courage. Little Fox widened her eyes and shouted, What did you say? You two long worms, I see you mostly came for the man in the room, right? Pretending to be serious for what? The wicked demon smirked and said, Or you collaborate with me, we can defeat this arrogant fox together, we each get half of the man. Little Fox's face darkened, her eyes cold like a demon as she used her claws to grab the crazy woman's head down, how dare you call me an arrogant fox. The fox sister immediately punched the crazy woman in the face with a speed of 10,000 kilometers per hour. I am the fox fairy Ching Chiu, said little fox. She then continued to punch the wicked demon a few more times, almost knocking him out of the earth. After that, Little Fox delivered a deadly blow and shouted, Still dare to challenge an immortal. I'll kill you right now. 
the twin dragons saw tears and snot flowing non-stop. Sister, has this fox ever refined their body? It's truly frightening. After the deadly blow, the little fox appeared in a hidden weapon stream with dark eyes full of evil energy, while the demon only remained a dark and putrid soul, the fox demon glared ahead, gnashing its teeth and shouting, What? Want to fight? I am Fox Fairy Chinchio. Bai Long, upon hearing this, clasped his hands together to create a seal and shouted loudly, Thunderous justice, dispel evil, heavenly thunders will, command. As he finished speaking, a powerful thunderbolt struck down from the sky towards the small courtyard, at that moment, a shimmering shield suddenly appeared. Enveloping the small courtyard and blocking the attack of the thunderbolt. In the sky, the little thunder deity was hit by the reflective power of the shimmering force, causing his eyes to bulge and blood to flow from his mouth continuously. Below, Bai Long was puzzled, gazing up at the sky as if waiting for something, why has my fist technique disappeared completely? Where is my thunderous power? The little fox, upon seeing this, immediately pounced forward with eyes blazing with two pupils. Wow, in the immortal's palace dare to stir up power, really doesn't know the height of the sky and the thickness of the earth, so fox demon struck a powerful blow towards Bai Long, causing him to be pushed back hundreds of meters. Bai Long fell to the ground and accidentally looked over to see a sword emitting a bright and radiant light, maybe the expert he was looking for. Could the prince be saved now, but fox demon didn't let up on Bai Long, immediately engaging in a fierce battle with her sister. Li Chun foam hid in the bushes, tears flowing, shocked and shouting, are these celestial beings fighting, during the intense battle between the two sisters, Fox Demon used her ultimate technique. Triple fire kick, clear self-completion, fire respect military. Bai Long also retaliated with his ultimate technique, eight comprehensive systems, unblock evil obstacles, western wonderlands. After clashing in the air, Bai Long jumped onto the roof to continue his attack with, Great Dragon Command, Sovereign Earth Bodhisattva, Ancient Infallible Treasury. Exhausted from the intense battle, Bai Long sat on the rooftop, glaring down at the little fox, clearly filled with anger. At this moment, the fox demon, enraged, swung a kick toward Bai Long, but the girl swiftly leaped out of the way, causing a nearby tree to bear the brunt of the attack instead. Seeing Bai Long fleeing, the fox demon immediately gave chase, her legs trampling over something dark and indistinct, meanwhile, inside the house, Chang Qing sat up in a frenzy, clenching his teeth tightly and shouting, good heavens, who's so inconsiderate, making noise outside every night. He grabbed his head, so angry that he could barely open his eyes, and yelled, if they don't want to sleep, then don't sleep. With that, Chang Qing threw open the door and stepped outside, his face radiating evil energy. Hearing the commotion, Bai Long was startled and glanced over. What greeted Chang Qing's eyes was the sight of Bai Long using a magical rope to bind the little fox like a sweet, pet-like creature. Suddenly, Chang Qing turned back inside, slamming the door behind him, leaving Bai Long puzzled. Inside, he slapped his forehead and exhaled a fragrant breath, muttering, Mother, it seems the noise is causing me to hallucinate at night. So he decided to open that door once more and stared with wide eyes, stunned by the dramatic turn of events of the little fox. Looking at the scene, Chang Qing broke out in a cold sweat, his mouth agape as he exclaimed, What is this situation? Bai Long's eyes turned green, while the fox demon seemed pleased with his accomplishment. Without investigating the situation, Shen Chang Qing loudly scolded, Xiao Bai, Xiao Bai, this damn dog, so many people in the house and it didn't bark once, what are you doing? Despite his shouting, Xiao Bai did not respond. Chang Qing stepped out of the door, glaring around, where is my dog, angered, his mind ablaze, he ran towards his two sisters who were fighting fiercely. Yelling, stop fighting in my house in the middle of the night, where did my dog go? Bai Long, upon hearing this, stared at Fox and through gritted teeth, said, mortal, stop making noise, I am saving his life. Chang Qing approached, holding Bai Long's hand. What a nuisance, who knows, you guys might have stolen my dog, come with me to see the magistrate. 
When Shin Chang Ching's hands touched the two girls, the expressions on their faces seemed to be under some kind of overpowering force that made their bodies tremble. After absorbing the power, Bai Long's ears swelled up, what kind of technique is this? Just a touch and I feel the power surging through my body, no longer under control. The younger sister took a deep breath, angrily shouting at him, You foolish mortal, I am the princess of the Long Clan East Sea, do you know that you were nearly killed by this fox? If I hadn't intervened in time, you would not have known how you died. Hearing this, Chan Qin pushed the little fox aside, then looked at Bai Long and said, Oh really, the thief dares to be arrogant with me? What thief, I didn't steal anything, Chan Qin firmly grasped Bai Long's hand and shouted, Stop the pretense, princess of the Long clan. Fox. Let's see who you really are in front of me. Finish speaking, Chan Qin used one of his arms to lift Bai Long up high, I too will not pretend any longer, I am the inheritor of socialism, a believer in dialectical materialism and the one who ends the old gods, citizens who comply with the law in a modern civilized society, a pioneer in street sanitation, the runner-up in the national children's Latin dance competition. The nightmare of the little children of the sun, by long blushed with shame and thought to himself, he really is not. An ordinary person, just a light touch and the cultivation power that cannot break through in my body is rapidly increasing, this feeling is really comfortable, that rascal, quickly release my sister. Bai Long said, Xiao Qin doesn't need to. Chang Qin quickly raised his giant hand to block Xiao Qin, dare to resist, Chun Feng and the little fox sitting here saw Chang Qin spinning Bai Long around like a top and exclaimed, Ah, the expert is playing with the dragon, ha <laughs> ha. The owner is truly majestic, Chun Feng looked at the scene in front of him, stunned and gaping, I have been cultivating for so many years, today is like a feast for my eyes. And the great power of the legendary cultivator is only this much. After being turned around by Chang Qing for a while, the two younger sisters sat in a corner, feeling scared. Entering people's homes without permission, disturbing others while they sleep, and even stealing my little fox, don't think just because you're women I will let it slide. And being so young, not knowing how to behave properly, what is wrong with you? Quickly speak up, where did you hide my dog? As soon as she finished speaking, Li Chun Feng hugged the little fox and rushed over like a gust of wind. Immortal, your dog is here. Startling me, where did you come from? Chang Qing pointed ahead. Do you know how close you were to scaring me to death? Why are you still here? Didn't I tell you to fix the door and leave? After hearing that, Li Chun Feng rolled his eyes, opened his mouth wide, and spoke. Cultivation immortal, the little Taoist wants, wants. Then he knelt down with determination and handed the fox to Chang Qing, speaking loudly. The little Taoist wants to ask immortal to accept me as a disciple. After saying that, Chun Feng continued to look pitiful, with tears streaming down. Please teach me your divine techniques. In Jingyang County, in the morning, a black eagle with jet black feathers was flying in the sky towards the brilliant light shining ahead. This was the Black Eagle King, one of the four great demon kings. After flying for a while, the Black Eagle King landed on a lighthouse, gazing intently ahead, only to realize it was looking towards that shining light, oh my, what is that shining light over there? Why does it make me feel terrified? As the Black Eagle King looked at the brilliant light, its two pupils contracted. Black Mountain King told me to scout this area, which is the territory of the Nine In Ghost, and now there's this shining light. Could there be a treasure emerging? At this thought, the greed in the Black Eagle King's heart ignited, and demon energy filled the surroundings. Haha, <laughs> if I bring this treasure back, Black Mountain King will surely appoint me as the leader of the four great demon kings. This time, I must make those three bow down to me. Half an hour later, in Chang Qing's small room, he was sitting solemnly in front of the twin dragons and the kneeling Taoist. Immortal, the situation is like this the little fox came forward to lick Chang Qing's face causing him to open his eyes wide in confusion. Li Taoist, do not cause chaos anymore. Just return the result, no explanation needed, 
nothing else. I'm just an ordinary person, I have no magical powers to impart to you. My humble abode does not house any tear demon, why don't you leave? After saying this, Chang Qing continued to stare at the twin dragons, you too, earlier you told me that your father was seriously ill, passing by here to ask for some medicine, and even had dealings with the fox demon, fabricating so many stories, the dog theft was a misunderstanding on my part, and wanting me to heal the master is not possible. I suggest you invite a physician to come and diagnose the master properly, with that, Chang Qing put the basket on his back and frowned. All right, it's already morning, I have no breakfast to offer you. I have to go make a living, you all can go on your own, as Chang Qing left, Qing Long suddenly burst into tears, sister, did we upset the immortal? That's why he refused to help us. I didn't expect the fox demon to be a pet raised by the immortal. It seems we have to show complete sincerity to succeed, dear Daoist friends, little Daoist Li Chun Fong, pleased to meet you, pleased to meet you, the three turned to look at Chang Qing's retreating figure, while the little fox sat inside the basket, sticking out its tongue and mocking. A while later, Chang Qing and little fox arrived at the market, starting to sell their spiritual teachings. He slammed his hand on the table to create a cool posture, open up, open up, as soon as he heard the call, a crowd of people gathered, lining up, Shen Great Master, Shen Great Master, look at me first, I have money, last time, Shen Great Master scared that old Taoist to his knees, definitely has real courage, before he could sell any scrolls of spiritual teachings, suddenly a government official appeared with a group of guards. Step aside, all of you, step aside for me, he was. The Magistrate County of Jingyang County. The Magistrate County pointed at Chang Qing's face. There's a report of someone cheating on the street, is it you? Hearing this, Chang Qing stomped his foot on the table, which scoundrel reported that. Trying to catch me. As he finished speaking, the two guards pointed their sticks at Chang Qing's neck. Just at that moment, the judge stepped forward calling out loudly, Expert, expert, he walked towards Chang Qing and pointed in a direction, It's not good, Ziku House has a problem. Indeed, when the county magistrate looked ahead, he saw a thick aura of demon energy surrounding Chang Qing's small courtyard. That direction is Yonglu neighborhood of Ziku House, right? Look quickly, ghost energy is rushing straight up to the sky, truly terrifying, why are demons causing chaos in broad daylight, didn't you know, the demons in this Ziku House are extremely powerful, however, Chang Qing did not see any evil energy or demon energy at all, and said, are you serious? The sky is clearly very blue. The county magistrate heard this and was shocked. Chang Qing then glanced at the dark-faced judge and said, Your Honor, what do you mean? Do you have nothing better to do than to play tricks on me? Back in Chang Qing's room, Black Eagle King was searching frantically, Treasure. Where are you? Come out and follow me home. Where did you hide? It's not here, it's not there. After a while of searching, belongings were scattered everywhere. Black Eagle King scratched his head and muttered, Strange, I clearly saw a golden light appear in this mansion earlier, that was the sign of the treasure. Why can't we find it? At the same time, in the market, the crowd was bustling like a festival. Come over here to see, Shen Taoist is about to perform exorcism at this scene. It's still the evil spirit in the old Ziku house, causing harm to our Jingyang county for many years. In the bushes by the roadside, the twin dragons and the Taoist Chun Fong are lurking, listening to the people around gossiping. Here he comes, here he comes, this Taoist, let's see how Shen Taoist performs. The three of them listened, their eyes widened and they exclaimed in unison. Great, the immortal has returned. At this moment, Chang Qing led with a very cool demeanor, holding a fan like a young master, followed by the judge holding the countless sky flag Tian Zun. Next to the county magistrate holding the flag of the demon-slaying immortals. Behind, the little fox glided past the bushes, casually giving a thumbs up to the twin dragons and the Taoist, causing blood to gush from their ears, and then the little fox transformed into a human form, turning angrily to stare at the people behind with anger. You can't even protect your own home, 
yet you want to be by the side of an expert seeking miraculous powers. The people in the house are none other than the Black Eagle King. One of the four great demon kings under the command of old demon Black Mountain, we are indeed no match for him, when little fox heard this, she frowned and said, humph, you all stay here and watch carefully. Even if Black Mountain old demon comes by himself, my master will turn him into dust, at that moment, Black Eagle King stood inside the hall and heard faintly, Black Mountain, expert, Taoist, exterminating demons. Upon hearing this, Black Eagle King's face changed and he exclaimed, This is not good. Before descending from Black Mountain, the king had warned about a place called Qin Tian Supervisor, where there are experts. Could it be that they are targeting us, after a while? They finally arrived at the hall. Judge turned around and said cheerfully, Expert, this place is dangerous with many hidden dangers outside. I will stay outside to protect them, so please handle the demons inside. Is it because you are afraid? Junior brother, if you can defeat Tyr Demon in Ziku House, I will believe you are not a fraud. After speaking, the magistrate county turned away, smirked in a cunning manner, thinking to himself. Just return the result, no explanation needed. If the child cannot do it, we will win a battle. In front of everyone, killing a chicken to scare the monkeys, warning criminals in Jingyang County is very beneficial for maintaining security in this district. Truly understanding the people's hearts and employing various strategies, inside, Black Eagle King now looks at life with half an eye, earlier, I did hear them mention that some expert was coming to inspect, can't stay here for long, next time I'll come back to find this treasure, he said, and then used the wall-piercing technique to fly straight into the wall, but a certain force stopped Black Eagle King in his tracks, causing him to hit his head on the wall so dizzy. Seeing stars, just then, when hearing the noise Chang Ching entered opening the door, what was that, the bang-bang sound earlier was definitely not a mouse, right? Black Eagle King lying on the ceiling, looked down and saw Chang Ching holding a mirror walking in, mumbling, such a big commotion, surely this mouse has a big head, I wonder if Xiao Bai knows how to catch mice, looking down, Black Eagle saw Chang Ching holding the mirror spinning around like a fool, then whispered, mouse. What is he talking about? Is he the expert? Upon entering the room, the presence of the demon king was immediately detected, but it was too terrifying. Regardless of whether the demon king was good or bad, it was still a demon king, so there was no need for it to try to capture the person. Outside the door, the people from judge and magistrate's county stared at the door, but everything around was silent. Judge tightly held the table, with an excited expert look, and as soon as he entered the room, the demonic aura was immediately suppressed. Inside the room, Chang Ching bowed his head and stared at the items on the old table with a beard, insisting that the house was haunted in front of many people, and now it turned out that they were being surrounded by people from the whole county. Chang Ching frowned, thinking about the scene of being shackled with a sigh. If today's performance did not go well, his survival tactic might be lost, and he might even be taken directly to the mansion prison. As he was lost in thought, the system board displayed a notification that there were 29 hours, 23 minutes, and 33 seconds left until the host would be killed directly. Seeing this, Chang Qing focused on the items on the table, which included two secret manuals, a lighter, and an iPhone 6 from the Ming Dynasty. If I were imprisoned in the Luo, counting down to the end, then I would surely die. With no other options, he had to use his brain to think. Wait, there's a smartphone, I think I have a way out, not only can I escape danger, but I might even be able to seize the opportunity to make some big money, after thinking, he took the Ming Dynasty iPhone 6 and searched continuously. Luckily, I brought personal items when crossing over, I downloaded a lot of movies on my phone to watch, to pass the time. As he opened a movie, suddenly strange sounds came from outside, shocking the judge and magistrate of the county. The magistrate was stunned when he heard those sounds. What kind of sound is that? It must be a demon causing chaos. But this demon sounds weird. Inside the room, Chang Qing looked puzzled, swiftly sliding the phone screen. Oops, wrong choice, luckily no one is here, or I'd be embarrassed. 
Black Eagle King lay on the ceiling, eyes wide open. That's a divine weapon. Can you self-generate a fist technique again? But this humble one has never heard of any fist technique like Yame Kadasai, Dame Dame, or Ikuku. Chang Ching raised his iPhone 6 Plus to take a picture of a beautiful model and accidentally captured Black Eagle King as well. Unfortunately, there was no network in ancient times, so besides being able to take photos, it just looked like a brick. As soon as he pressed the capture button, the flashlight flashed into Black Eagle King's eyes, causing him to panic and scream, Ah, 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 what is this light, my eyes, oh my mother, my internal injuries are shattered. Black Eagle King now lay on the floor foaming at the mouth, trembling all over. This mortal monk clearly discovered me, pretending not to see, waiting for me to relax my guard and then use some sophisticated fist technique to attack me, Chang Ching still happily posed for a selfie, as calm as a fly, and Black Eagle King, seeing this, could only helplessly think, this mortal's thoughts are indeed sinister, outside Magistrate County, the crowd waiting eagerly, their faces darkened with disappointment. Shen Taoist, delaying won't do you any good. If you don't come out, the officers will come in and arrest you, Judge said, standing beside them with eyes tightly shut, retorting, humph, such narrow-mindedness, daring to doubt an expert, just as the words left his mouth, Shen Chang Ching stepped out of the door. Here I am, here I am. Magistrate Lord, what's the rush? Didn't you say that my Ziku house has been occupied by a tear demon for many years, with no one able to exorcise it? Today, I, Shen Chang Ching, have captured the evil spirit in this mansion. He held up his phone screen in front of them, and on the screen, a demoness emerged with a ghastly face and sharp fangs. Here's the proof. See for yourselves. The crowd gaped in fear as purple demonic energy began to rise around them. The demoness climbed out of a well, scratching the ground with her sharp red painted nails, seeing this scene, judge and the people behind him turned pale with fear, sweating profusely. The resentment is too strong, it's even more powerful than the original Nine In ghost, someone muttered, noticing their terror, Chang Ching pointed at the screen and said. Do not be afraid, this demon has been sealed in a precious tome by me, so it will not harm the mortal world anymore. When the demoness heard this, she acted like, what's next, then Chang Ching reversed the video. Look, if I want her to move forward, she will move forward, and if I want her to move back, she will move back, upon rewinding the video, it was strange, a Japanese girl writhing with ecstasy, moaning loudly. Chang Ching quickly displayed the image of the girl, shaking the phone screen like crazy. So, do you see how amazing I am? Judge raised his hands to the sky, then slapped his thigh to wake up, the crowd began to exclaim the vengeful demon is so powerful and yet is played around by Shintaoist, immortal great power extinguishing demons, protecting countless virtues of the people. The county magistrate, trembling, pointed at the phone screen, why did the precious tome suddenly go dark, damn, it ran out of battery at this moment. Dot. Seeing that, Chang Ching quickly put his smartphone into his clothes, then raised his hand to his mouth and coughed, saying, ahem, opening the heavenly eye is not as easy as you think. The scene earlier was extravagant for you mortals, but today you can witness that it has been contaminated with ominous energy. It may be difficult for your home to be peaceful in the future. However, this Taoist has studied a bit about exorcism, recently even wrote a few words that can exorcise and protect the home. Hearing this, the crowd and even the county magistrate immediately offered money to Chang Ching, Taoist, you must give me the secret treasure, I've been waiting in line since early morning so it's my turn first. The official also cannot cut in line. In the crowded crowd, three young men hurriedly squeezed in, asking, where are we going? Ziku House has an expert, I want to ask for a talisman to protect my home. Now, people all over Jingyang County are lining up like ants, is it really so magical? Wang Er personally saw Shen Taoist subduing the tear demon, could it be fake? Jingyang County is saved, I also want to ask for a talisman. Below, two young men appeared holding a scroll of magic spells. One with hair, one bald, one cries, one laughs, 
Shen Taoist is really good, his hands are swollen but still gives us secret treasure, so touching, how can that be swollen, that's called true qi dominance, written in the ancient scriptures like that, after a while, most of the villagers had dispersed, but unfortunately, Chang Qing's hand now looked like a monster's hand, today is tough for you all, stay for a meal, I'll go clean up the room first, been writing all day, my hand is. About to become a printer, Chan Qin with his monstrous hands struggled to open the door, only to meet four diehard fans staring at him with gleaming eyes. Seeing this, he immediately shut the door tightly. Stepped into the room, tossed the gold coins up high, looking extremely elated, ha ha ha, I have money now, finally don't have to bow down to the system anymore, this old man is now a wealthy player, the members of Judge, Twin Dragons, upon hearing Chang Qin's words, were overjoyed, senior, immortal, inviting us to stay for a meal, does that mean you have accepted us? Good too, good too, why did the fox fairy feel like she was about to fall out of favor? Suddenly from the brightly lit hall, accompanied by the words, revive, my time, the die-hard fans saw the scene in front of them and were dumbfounded, demon energy is gone, could it be that an expert intervened, at this moment, Black Eagle King, sitting on the ceiling, affected by the attack, foamed at the mouth, just now was the fist technique, now it's the golden light, what crime has this Sikh committed? Looking down, he saw Chang Qing staring at a few gold coins and sighing, oh my, the money isn't hot yet and it's already gone, now his remaining time to live has increased to 275 hours 18 minutes 10 seconds. Chang Qing clasped his hands together, urgently praying for the system to display six units over six hours. Immediately, the system displayed handmade soap making method, grind shell powder into powder, add water, put shell powder into vegetable ash, pour the liquid mixture on top, shape and cut into pieces, let it sit for 10 to 35 days until soap reaction occurs, Shen Chang Qing finished reading, his eyes turning into coins, smiling brightly, wow, handmade soap making method. This thing is good, in this era, normal people all use beans to bathe, soap is not more convenient. Money will flow in abundance, Chang Qing looked blankly at the empty chest, his face as pale as a ghost. But I only have ten days, and making soap also takes at least ten days, I should think of another way to make money. Feeling as sad as a dog, Black Eagle King fell from the ceiling with a thud, feathers falling in disarray, causing him to startle. Hey! What is that? Chang Qing curiously reached out to grab Black Eagle King. It turns out that the commotion earlier was not a mouse, but a wild chicken flying in. The ancient environment is really good, even wild chickens can be so big. Without hesitation, Chang Qing carried Black Eagle King on his shoulders. The poor child didn't even know when he was locked in the room, probably starving to faint. Chang Qin tucked Eagle King under his arm and stepped out of the door. Luckily you met me, I am a kind-hearted person, even a blade of grass wouldn't dare to step on me. Hearing this, the people from Li Chun Fong and Twin Dragons stood awkwardly behind the door. Is the expert planning to use resurrection magic to revive the Demon King? Cannot be, if released, the consequences are unpredictable. The expert is generous, loving all creatures, truly an immortal, all beings are equal in the eyes of the immortal. If the immortal can resurrect the demon king, then curing the prince is just a minor matter, soon after the crazy fans saw the result of Chang Qing, their eyes widened, mouth gaping as they exclaimed, oh, oh, wow, so it's roasted, not finished yet, Shen Chang Qing continued to sprinkle more sweet spices on his roasted black eagle king. However, the scent that rose was not a pleasant one, but a strong aura of demon energy, the crazy fans saw and whispered, the meat of a great demon is extremely poisonous. Let alone it's the demon king, why would the expert want to eat it? Chang Qing sliced the juicy, fragrant chicken meat, brought it up and said, you have been waiting for a long time, enjoy my craftsmanship, it's really delicious, the four crazy fans looked pale, no longer having any appetite, expert. I remember I still have something to do, excuse me, my mother doesn't allow me to be late, I have to go back first, sister, I don't want to die, hoo hoo, Xiao Qing, don't be afraid, if the immortal rewards, how dare you refuse. 
After my sister dies, I must ask the immortal to save father. Saying this, Bai Long reached forward to grab the piece of chicken, immortal, let me go first. Suddenly, a flash of light swept past, and the chicken leg disappeared. Looking over, they saw the culprit was none other than the little fox, gripping the enormous chicken leg in its mouth. Chang Qing angrily shouted, Xiao Bai, the guest hasn't eaten yet. Spit out that big leg for me, however, the little fox ignored its master and happily nibbled on the leg, absorbing the demon energy emanating from it. The twin dragons, seeing this, were astonished, their eyes wide open. Fox Fairy Senior took the risk to test the poison for us. There are good fox demons among the fox demons, they exclaimed. Very quickly, all that was left of the chicken was a bare bone, suddenly, the little fox stood up, its head spinning and wobbling unsteadily, causing Chang Qing and the others to gape in shock. Xiao Bai, what's wrong with you? After a moment of staggering, the little fox demon collapsed to the ground, unconscious. Is Fox Fairy Senior dead? One of the twin dragons wondered aloud, Chang Qing walked over, lifting the fox's tail in confusion. It's still alive. What's with the expression? Why does it look like it's quite enjoying itself? The little fox demon jumps around, with a delighted face whispering a a a so comfortable, feeling a body full of spiritual energy, indeed the demon king's meat that the fairy can also be poisoned to death. When Bai Long saw that scene, he was stunned, isn't he dead? That's demon king meat that even immortals can be poisoned to death by. Chan Qing stepped forward to cut some meat for Chun Fong and Judge, today everyone helped me all day, can't let everyone go home with that hungry stomach, let's try it quickly while it's still hot. Chun Fong took the plate of chicken meat and glanced at Judge or should we try a bit, the fox demon at this moment is already enjoying the master, if he acts it will be beyond your imagination. The demon king being grilled by the master is even better than the peach banquet on nine heavens. At this point, the twin dragons also reluctantly put a piece of meat in their mouth to chew, Chun Fong and Judge also bit their stomachs and chewed the meat with tears, just finished eating, the several of them broke out their power, twisting their bodies with a seductive face quietly thinking pure spiritual energy, I can't hold back this restless tingling sensation. Oh, please don't, don't break through anymore, my body can't handle it. Elder sister, it seems like my cultivation is about to break through again. As soon as she finished speaking, two streams of green and yellow spiritual weapons shot straight into the sky from Chang Qing's small courtyard. Xiao Qing, my cultivation has also broken through, this roast duck from the immortal realm is truly the delicacy of the fairy world, the two sisters embraced each other after their breakthrough, Chang Qing saw this and walked over to stop the cold wind. Not a bad reaction, with my current cooking skills, these ancient people really can't resist, if I were to open a barbecue shop, even the emperor wouldn't be able to resist. On the other side, the two young men Chun Fong and Judge also broke through their strength, embracing each other and dancing the tango. There is so much spiritual energy in this roast chicken, I feel like I'm about to grow wings and fly away, that's right, my body is restless, the power like that of a flowing stream is about to burst out, Chang Qing saw the scene before him and his eyes turned into chili peppers. Oh my, this is a bit too spicy for the eyes. At that moment, Bai Long suddenly remembered his father passing on his dragon palace's sea water, tears welling up in his eyes. While I am enjoying the grace bestowed by the immortal, the life of the prince in the dragon palace is in danger. I'm truly an unfilial daughter, Boo Hu, Bai Long cried out loud, making Chang Qing turn around to look at her, Oh, why are you crying now, I didn't scold you, did I? Or did I not give you any resources, the twin dragons knelt down before Chang Qing. Immortal, Dong Li begs for your divine intervention to save our king, we are willing to serve by your side in this lifetime, I've said it before, I don't know medicine, don't you remember? He stared up at the sky, a thought forming in his mind. So here's the deal, I am currently short of manpower, you and your junior sister can help me and when we make money, I will share the wealth with you. With money, you can cure your father's illness. What do you think, please guide us, immortal? 
Jingyang County at night, ten miles outside the village deep in the forest, a pair of glowing eyes watched over the blood-soaked bodies. Then, from the darkness emerged a fierce tiger with sharp teeth, known as the Kuei Shan Golden Desolate King. One of the four great demon kings, Kuei Shan, wandered around, sniffing the auras in the forest. That bald bird, letting him scout ahead first, why is he so slow? I'm starving from waiting, at dawn, with birds chirping and flying around, a distant voice sang, the sun shines, flowers bloom, birds sing early, early, early. In the yard below, the twin dragons were sitting in a meditation posture, listening to the faint singing. Sister, listen to what the immortal is singing. Why does it sound, by long began, but before she could finish, both by long and judge burst into tears. The great Tao's rhythm, thank you immortal for your grace. Hurry and grasp this time to comprehend the Tao. We can't waste the expert's intention, they cried. The fox, seeing this, frowned and muttered, truly inexperienced, inside the courtyard room, Chang Qing sat leisurely, humming a tune, while intently looking at the system panel. Ha ha ha, ever since this broken system activated, every day has felt like a knife at my throat. This is the first time I've woken up naturally without worrying about my survival time dropping to zero, he said. Then, glancing at the system panel displaying a fine wine, he muttered, it seems that only brewing wine yields quick profits in the shortest time. Luckily I have the talent of modern cooking, opening an outdoor barbecue stall and selling some roast chicken and roast duck. I can also have Dong Li and Xiao Qing, two beautiful women serving, I don't believe the ancient people can resist, after thinking for a while, he opened the door with a red face, his eyes widened with a smile, as soon as he saw Chang Qing coming out, Dong Li shouted loudly, making him startle, immortal, please assign us today. Damn, why shout so loud? almost scared me. These two ladies seemed determined to be our followers, so Chang Qing took out some money from somewhere and gave it to Dong Li, if that's the case, then I'll give you a task, take this money and buy some wine. Remember not to go to Little Tower but to go around a few wine shops, the cheaper the better. Oh, yes sir, said the twin dragons Dong Li and Xiao Qing immediately left. Shen Chang Qing stood behind and shouted loudly, Go early and come back early, find some intact bamboo sticks on the way back. This thing is free, you can take as much as you want. Yes, immortal please rest assured, I will complete the task. Then Judge and Chun Fong approached and clasped their hands in a ceremonial gesture, if the repairs to the temple are completed, I must also return to City God Temple. If anything happens here that requires the City God's help, just let me know. All right you can go on your own, when city god left, his face turned dark, you act so well, must be a professional actor. Dealing with troublesome people, Chun Fong said confidently with a smile, are you leaving too? The power of the little Taoist is a bit low, but devoted to Tao, please allow me to stay by your side to learn. Upon hearing this, Chang Qing agreed immediately, in that case, you can go with me. Thank you, senior. Those who don't receive free manpower are fools. So Chang Qing and Chun Fong, along with the little fox, walked through a market, the sound of vendors shouting, sharpening knives, cutting knives here. New batch of curtains just out. Little brother, come and see, all good items. Did I hear wrong, they are selling like hotcakes. Above the wine shelves display price tags. Stuffed glutinous rice costs one tail, seven grain liquid costs five tails, immortal wine costs ten tails. Chang Qin looked at the price list and calculated with tears in his eyes. How can modern people drink cheap white wine? Due to the development of technology in industrial production, the quality of distilled spirits is good, but his current capital is not enough to produce in large quantities. Thinking this, Chang Qin rubbed his head, wrinkling his brows. Forget it, sell roasted duck first to accumulate some startup capital. While lost in thought, Chun Fong suddenly tapped on his shoulder and spoke up, Senior, why are you so focused on material possessions like money? Are they really that important to you? 
Shun Chang Qin pointed angrily at the chubby girl in front of him. Then let me test you. Do you see her over there? Chun Feng opened his eyes wide and replied, a noble person. At this point, the two young men leaned in close and whispered to each other. To the ordinary eye, she appeared to be dressed in silk, but to the enlightened eye, her demeanor exuded wealth. Yet, everyone failed to notice that the material possessions on her represented the essence of the world. He imagined himself standing on the golden beak, holding a fishing rod. The nature of the world is so, take out the gold to talk about, gold is the remnants of the ancient star's collision when the universe began to form, before the sky and earth, brought to our world by emptiness, eternal, coexisting with the dragon veins of Kyu Shu for tens of millions of years, while we just dig it up for decoration, you only see the appearance, not knowing it is as old as heaven and earth. Is it still a common thing? Chun Feng heard this and widened his eyes, then immediately knelt down and kowtowed before Chang Qing, a little Taoist, saw things as they are, can't escape from the world, many thanks to the immortal for guidance. Looking like that he secretly thought small things, thinking I deceived you to the point where you can't distinguish between east and west, will have to obediently be a security guard for my roast chicken shop ha ha ha. After kowtowing, Chun Feng raised his head and dared not hide, the realm of the little Taoist has been stuck for many years, fearing that he had been blinded by the world. You asked Immortal for guidance earlier, only a little more to go, hoping Immortal will succeed. If you are sincere like this, then I will guide you a little more. So Chang Qing turned and whispered in his ear, surely upgrading skills is useless, try my method, little Taoist listened carefully. The value of human life is dual-sided, truly manifested in dedication, realizing the value of bright conditions, enjoying music and gold coins when venturing out, the ideal sparking the greatest enlightenment in the sky, hardship in the struggle of the mind, that is the historical materialistic value. Hearing this, Chun Feng made a serious face, the value of human life is dual-sided. Hardship and struggle, sitting in the bushes, he chuckled, yes, that's right, now Chun Feng seemed to be in a fairyland, experts dozen words have expanded my heart realm, the demon that haunted me for three years has finally been eliminated. Thinking of this, Chun Feng shed tears towards Chang Qing, thank you, expert, for helping me realize, I will definitely remember these thirty words and always recite them, indeed, children are easy to teach, I have advanced thoughts since ten, you will gradually realize. Chang Qing glanced at Chun Feng, who was drooling, and grinned mischievously. He he, this gullible guy is about to fall into my trap. Watch how I, the great trickster, make a profit from this, he thought. After mulling it over, Chang Qing turned away and asked in a strained voice, Li Taoist, you've cultivated for many years. Let me ask you, in this world, countless people with magical talent seek immortality, yet why do so many desire to become emperors instead of pursuing immortality, Chun Feng's eyes widened in surprise. The emperor naturally desires immortality as well, but achieving it is too difficult. We cultivators defy the heavens and can only extend our lifespans by a few decades. Very few can live to be a hundred. Immortality is not so easily attained, he explained, as soon as Chun Feng finished speaking, he noticed a brilliant light emanating from Chang Qing. TSK TSK TSK, immortality is not that hard. If you count from today, I've already lived for over a thousand years. This is now the Zhenguan era of the Tang dynasty. From the 8th century to the 21st century before I crossed over, isn't that 1,200 years? Chun Feng was stunned, his face darkening. An immortal truly is an immortal descended to the mortal realm. Who else could live for over a thousand years, he thought. After pondering for a moment, Chun Feng stepped forward and naively asked, May I ask, immortal, if this little Taoist continues on the path of cultivation, can I attain immortality like you? Hearing this, Chang Qing covered his delighted smile with a fan. He's taken the bait, he he, he thought. Then, striking a super cool pose, Chang Qing replied, I can't speak for others, but if you follow my path of cultivation, two or three years won't be a problem. Chun Feng, feeling as if he'd just struck gold, 
gaped in astonishment and grinned widely. Does that mean the immortal is willing to take me as a disciple, he asked excitedly, Chang Qing, now enveloped in a white aura, turned to him. Usually, I don't accept disciples lightly. Before, I didn't accept you because I wanted to test your determination. Now, seeing that you have some talent and potential, I'll reluctantly accept you as a nominal disciple. Let's see how persistent you are in the future. Hearing this, Chun Fong immediately knelt at Chang Qing's feet in front of the surrounding villagers. Master, please accept a bow from Li Chun Fong. Chang Qing saw that and turned his face elsewhere with a playful smile, breaking out in a cold sweat. All right, many people are watching. You once said my master is Yuan Tian Gang, so I guess I don't need to teach you any magic, but some other things you might understand. If you called me master, of course I won't treat you badly. Get up. First help me carry the luggage, a while later, the two disciples came back after buying chickens and ducks. Master, are you going to roast these two ducks? Chang Qing walked into the house, grinning. That is master's magic weapon for wealth, wait a bit and you will see. Upon entering the room, he saw a chubby man wiping sweat from his forehead. Shin Immortal, this is the duck roasting oven that I made as per your request, how do you find it? Chang Qing looked at his duck roasting oven, pleased and full of praise. Master's craftsmanship is not bad, it only took half a day to create. Xiao Li, you replace Master in giving the reward to the Grand Master. Hearing this, Chun Fong handed the chubby man a bag of money as tears flowed down his cheeks. Immortal, there's no need for that. Who dares to accept your money? In our house, we still have your written words displayed. Now everyone in the house is healthy and well-fed, all thanks to your blessings, the chubby man said before leaving. Chang Qing also waved goodbye, saying, Shin Immortal, no need to see me off. Whatever request you have, you can always tell me, thank you, Grand Master. Next time you buy a word, I will definitely give you a 20% discount, the chubby man replied. Chang Qing looked closely at the money in his hand and smirked, wow, people from the Tang dynasty are indeed straightforward. Even if I want to spend this money, I can't, the scene shifted to the twin dragon sisters. Xiao Qing and Dong Li, who had completed their task of buying wine and returning with a bundle of bamboo sticks. Sister, why does Immortal need these bamboo sticks? Xiao Qing asked, Immortal has his own reasons for doing things, don't ask too many questions. Let's go back quickly to avoid keeping him waiting, Dong Li replied, as they were on their way, Dong Li sensed a strong demonic aura coming from a small courtyard. Her face darkened as she turned to Xiao Qing and said, Demon energy. The scent of blood is so strong. There must be monsters causing trouble in the courtyard. Let's go in and take a look. Inside the room, the innocent victim's dead body lay in a pool of dark red blood, followed by a sharp fong mauling the corpse, blood splattering everywhere. It turned out to be Kuei Shan Tiger, prowling around attacking innocent men, using its giant paw to trample on the bodies, and then using its sharp teeth to bite off body parts, its eyes sharp, emitting a fierce light staring straight ahead, outside the door, a loud shout echoed, bold monster, daring to harm people in broad daylight in this world. Upon hearing this, Kuei Shan turned its head and glared. The twin dragons kicked down the door and stride in fiercely, hey, wicked tiger demon over there, cultivation is not easy. Why harm others without reason? After hearing this, Kuei Shan slammed its foot hard on the ground, its claws scratching the floor. It glared straight ahead, its body covered in the stench of blood, transformed into half-human, half-beast, massive and powerful. It stood up and stared at the twin dragons, growling, where did this little demon come from, daring to teach this king a lesson? Dong Li's eyes widened in anger, her brows furrowing as she clenched her teeth and brandished her weapon. You don't know life and death, it seems you want to test the power of this lady, she declared. Sister, be careful, Kuei Shan raised his sharp claws, grinning wickedly. Such arrogance. Disturbing my meal, have you considered how you'll compensate, with that, Kuei Shan opened his mouth wide and lunged forward. By long, unafraid, 
immediately unleashed a powerful force towards the tiger. Xiao Qing screamed in fear, Sister, be careful, dropping the two wine jars she was holding, which shattered on the ground, the scene shifted to Chang Qing and his disciple, who were testing the oven with two ducks. The delicious aroma made their mouths water. Don't rush, don't rush, they're almost ready, Chang Qing advised. I never expected Master not only has profound cultivation but also cooks so well, the disciple commented, a few minutes later, the ducks were perfectly cooked, their aroma filling the air. Chang Qing immediately took out honey glaze and brushed it over the ducks to enhance their glossy appearance. Add a few more herbs, a couple more barley drinks and it's ready, soon the afternoon came, the sun also went down the mountain. Chang Qing used his hand to shield his eyes and looked out the door, why haven't Dong Li and Xiao Qing come back yet? It's almost dark, buying wine shouldn't take this long, as he finished speaking, suddenly the magistrate county in two guards rushed in shouting loudly, Shin Immortal, Li Taoist, help us quickly, something big is happening in Shirley village, Chang Qing saw the panic of the magistrate county and quickly supported him, the county lord, calm down and tell me, what happened? Shirley Village has a monster. A family of three Hong family members all died tragically. Chang Qing's face turned pale after hearing this, he sighed, Oh, a monster. Are you serious? A while later, at the Hong Zhai mansion, cries echoed throughout the house, It's too tragic, the whole Hong family of three is dead, it's karma, do you know that this Hong family has been haunted for a long time? People in the house keep dying for no reason and the neighbors around also encounter bad luck, really? A whole family of three met a disaster, is it really because of demons? We should not stay here anymore, to avoid bad luck, seeing the scene in front of him, Chang Qing was stunned, his eyes wide open, furrowing his brows, speechless. Chang Qing and Chun Feng walked over to look at the bloody body, while the crowd kept gossiping, Surely it was done by demons, they say our Shirley village is actually a big tomb, the Hong family presided over it and always lived with such filthy things, that's why this happened, the county magistrate took out a handkerchief to wipe his sweat, with a frightened look, Shen Taoist, I won't hide it from you. For many years the Hong family has indeed had many deaths, the officials couldn't find out the truth, couldn't do anything. Unexpectedly this incident happened, it's related to demonic forces, we should have informed the Qin Tian department to send experts to handle it, but now everyone is in chaos. Shin Immortal, we all know your ability to capture demons is as clear as day, please help us in Jingyang County. Upon hearing this, Chun Feng clasped his hands in a gesture of respect, County Lord, don't worry, little Daoist works for the Qin Tian supervisor, and has responsibility in this matter, moreover with our master here. We're not afraid of any evil. Chang Qing, upon hearing this, had a dark expression on his face, thinking to himself. Damn, I do not agree, who made you talk so much, this is a death sentence. Look for a demon slayer, why look for a scholar to write like I do? After thinking, Chang Qing pretended to smile brightly, the county lord, the monster that eats people, this is really serious. I believe in the talent of exorcising and killing demons of my disciple, I will assign this task to him, and also check his skills, hearing that, Chun Feng took out a strange bowl and plate, looking straight ahead, yes master, the disciple will not disappoint you. Saying that, Chun Feng displayed Xian Tian precious tome, reveal the demon, from the strange bowl and plate in his hand, appeared golden spiritual weapons. Shining brightly, Suddenly a dark demon energy appeared on the strange bowl, making Chun Feng stunned, is this a curse? It's old demon Black Mountain, seeing this, Magistrate County looked worried, turned to ask softly, Li Taoist, what's going on? Chun Feng looked closely at the strange bowl and plate in his hand, this incantation is the center of the curse, this curse comes from the magic of old demon Black Mountain. He is among the top 20 great demons most wanted by Qin Tian supervisor, said Chang Qing as he stepped forward, raising his hands to the sky and shouting loudly, enough, enough, the more you talk, the more absurd it sounds. Some curse, some black mountain old demon, all scare tactics. Look at those people who have been threatened, look at the wounds on the bodies, clearly done by savage beasts. 
don't talk about monsters and demons threatening children anymore. Hearing this, Chun Fong turned to look at the trembling crowd, silently thinking, so that's it, I've messed up. Now everyone is scared, I shouldn't talk about ghosts and demons in front of the fearful. No wonder he's the master. Being cautious like this, I completely overlooked those details. This is truly looking out for the people, so the three of them sat down together to observe the body, with the county lord asking, is there any other clue? Is there someone injured or another witness, seeing this wound, its demon energy residue, indeed caused by demon beasts? The master is right, just a glance can grasp the key points. After observing, the magistrate county turned and said. Yes, just now in a hurry forgot to say, the magistrate county said that he saw two young ladies from your house seem to be taken away by demons, Chang Qing still couldn't hear clearly, immediately raised his hand to stop him, I said, there are no demons, it's wild beasts, wild beasts, seconds later, he realized what the magistrate county said, his eyes widened in shock, what? Who was taken away? Immediately, a faint scream rang out, causing the guards and the crowd to startle, quickly summon all the hunters in the county. Scene switched to somewhere else, now the twin dragons were sitting on a pile of bloody bones, sis, I don't want to die, Xiao Qing, don't be afraid, the immortal will definitely come to save us. Kuei Shan smirked cynically after hearing that, what immortal, the damn tiger demon, I advise you to release us, I am the princess of the dragon clan, the daughter of the dragon king East Sea, Kuei Shan not only wasn't afraid, but also grinned widely, ha ha ha, the princess of the dragon clan, how can you threaten me? My ancestors are even leaders among the four great demon kings. The subordinate of Black Mountain is the tiger king Kuei Shan, weaker than the dragon clan. We can serve as concubines for the Black Mountain Lord at the right time. Xiao Qing was horrified and cried out, I don't want to be a concubine, I don't want to be a concubine, outside the forest, Chang Qing's group had started to act. My lord, we have found many fresh tiger footprints. The evil monsters must not have gone far. If we follow these footprints, we can surely quickly discover its whereabouts. Chun Fong, walking beside Chang Qing, felt uneasy and said, Immortal, this fierce beast is extraordinary and eats humans. We should not let the hunters take risks, the hunters turned around and reassured. Don't worry, we are experienced hunters. We have encountered many packs of beasts like this before. Chang Qing sighed and raised his hand to his forehead, these hunters are indeed experienced in tracking wild animals. Let them continue. Dong Li and Xiao Qing's lives are still unknown. If something happens, I don't know how to face their families. After a while, the crowd discovered a cave in front of them. Here we found the tiger den, everyone quickly followed to explore if there is any other way out before. Before entering the cave, a hunter spoke up. The county lord, Shen Taoist, we have just checked around, this cave has no other way out. Very good, all of you come here to listen to me, let's do this first. While Chang Qing was discussing work with the hunters, Chun Fong took the mysterious plate and went to explore. Damn, the smell of blood is too strong. Seconds later, Chun Fong brought the mysterious plate forward to display the Xian Tian precious tome, checking the demon energy around, the light of the mysterious plate shimmered brightly. Then a column of information appeared above, showing the information of Kuei Shan, Golden Desolate King. Kuei Shan, ranked 13th on the Qin Tian Department's wanted list, a demon king of four-star danger level, truly a great demon, with my current cultivation, I am not a match for this tiger demon. After speaking, Chun Fong took out something shining from his clothes. I don't even know where Master is right now. Regardless, we can't let the tiger demon descend the mountain to harm people any further, Chun Fong muttered. He quickly wrote golden characters on the Bagua table, the heavens are round, the earth is square, the law is everlasting, with my golden pen, ten thousand ghosts will perish, as he was setting up the array, a hand suddenly rested on his shoulder from behind, causing him to startle and widen his eyes. He turned around to see Chang Qing. At the same moment, the array he was casting dissipated. What are you doing, 
Xiaoli. Everyone is busy, you should go and help out too, Chang Qing said, dragging him away before he could respond. Master, I was casting a spell and setting up an array. That tiger demon is a demon king. Chun Feng protested, all right, after we catch that tiger, you can cast whatever spells you like. At that time, I'll teach you a few celestial spells, Chang Qin reassured him, celestial spells. Master, are you serious? Of course I'm serious. Couldn't be more serious. Meanwhile, inside the cave, Kuei Shan lay in a deep sleep on a pile of bones, drooling in a state of bliss. Beside him, the twin dragons were also napping, but their faces showed clear signs of unease. After that, a gust of white air rushed into Dong Li's nose, causing her to wake up suddenly. Dong Li sat up dazed, her face pale. Is there commotion outside? Are there people? So many people. Could it be immortals coming to rescue us? That would be great. Standing outside the cave entrance, Chang Qing held a drum in his hand, while Chun Feng was wearing a colorful tiger headgear. Master, does this really work? Huh, wait and see if it works or not, Chang Qing said then immediately struck the drum hard, shouting loudly, Tiger Cub, wake up quickly, upon hearing the loud noise, Kuei Shan startled and opened his eyes wide, what is that sound? How dare it disturb me? The prince, while enjoying drumming, something suddenly frightened Chang Qing so much that he threw the drum and stick away, shouting, oh my goodness, help, Chun Feng crouched inside the tiger head, looking so scared that he almost wet his pants his face devoid of blood. Chun Feng looked ahead with wide eyes, sweating profusely, here it comes, it's the tiger demon, the intense light emitting from Kuei Shan's cold eyes struck the crowd, causing the young people to widen their eyes, gasp, and sweat profusely, oh my, so big, what is he eating to be so huge? At that moment, Kuei Shan emerged from the cave, bearing his sharp fangs and roaring furiously. Seeing this, Chan Qing immediately began to perform a wild dance. Xiao Li, don't be afraid. Shake it like I taught you, he instructed. Chun Feng, sweating profusely, stammered, Master, will your spell really work? Without waiting for a reply, Chun Feng stomped his prosthetic leg on the ground and began an intense hip-shaking dance. Shake, shake, shake that pot, he chanted as he moved. After a while, he controlled the tiger head to turn back with a seductive look under the moonlight. Kuei Shan, upon seeing this, now had the image of a cute tigress in his eyes, Chun Feng continued to sway the tiger head's hips provocatively. So intense, so intense, so intense, he chanted. Kuei Shan, captivated by the tigress's allure, could only repeat, more power, more power, more power. Unable to resist the attraction, Kuei Shan exclaimed, Oh wow, this tigress is truly fascinating. Overcome with desire, Kuei Shan leaped towards the tigress, his face flushed and his eyes turning into hearts. Let me love you, my dear tigress. 